In today's video, I wanna go over three of the best on-camera microphones for capturing high-quality audio when filming sports. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. What is up? Welcome back. Pete here. <laughs> what is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Pete. I've got my iced coffee. Second one of the day, probably should chill soon on the coffee. As I already mentioned, we are going to be going over three of the best microphones, in my opinion. This has become a pet peeve of mine over the last year or so, is I see a lot of people neglecting audio. And when I say a lot of people, I see people in the you know upper echelon and in the, in the industry standard of the sport shooting with no microphone on their camera. And that's not good, because audio is a very, very big deal. If you are new to this world, if you're new to video editing, audio is, is a very big part of your final product. So being able to go back and have that high quality back crack or helmets popping or scream from an athlete, you need to have that. Internal microphones on most cameras are not going to do it. What you're going to need for sports is some type of shotgun microphone. And if you don't know what a shotgun microphone is, it's going to be pretty much directional. Some of them have modes where it records behind as well, and some have modes where it records kind of the surrounding and not just a directional mic. You don't need a boom. That's what, you know, they record audio for two subjects or a commercial or a move, moving subject. You don't need that. You don't need a lav to start off, which is kind of what this is right here. Unless you're going to be miking people up, you don't need that. You want a shotgun mic to record sports, anything that happens right in front of you or off in the distance, you need something directional. Records where your camera is pointing, where your lens is pointing. So today I'm going to give you one really cheap option and then kind of a moderate option and then the one that I use and that I do believe is what, you know, does a very good job. And that's gonna be a little bit more expensive. So without further ado, let's get into these three options. First off, we are going to discuss the budget option. This is going to be for people who are just, you know, starting off, just bought a camera or you're vlogging with it or maybe, you know, you want to stay on the cheaper side of things because you invested more in the camera and the lens, this will be for you. My option that I would recommend is the Deity V-Mic V4 Mini. I believe it's Deity. I don't know if it's Deity. De Deity's like God, right? So it's like, maybe it's Deity. Or you're just gonna recording God-like audio. Maybe I'm saying all this wrong. But anyway, this is going to be a mic on the smaller side of things. It's it's going to run you 50 US dollars. As I said, it's not too expensive at all. The audio quality is not going to be obviously amazing, but it's going to be better than those internal mics. It has a 20 mile an hour wind rating, which means pretty self-explanatory there, 20 mile an hour winds. Uh, it's gonna come with a wind sock and it also comes with a jack for audio. So you can take a wire from a lav or you know another audio source and plug it in there and it will split the channels which it will split left and right from the directional mic and the lav mic in your external or your other input. The competitor in this situation with a mic like this is the Rode Video Mic Mini. I do believe that's what it's called. That one ergonomically isn't as good, I think. And I've had this problem before with Rode mics on the cheaper side is that one hangs out over the eyepiece a little more. So if you have an eyepiece right under the Rode mic, it's gonna hit you right here in the head. I've had that exact problem on my Sony APS-C cameras, my 6300 before. The Deity one, is kind of a little better ergonomically. And it obviously, like I said, op offers you that option of split channels and things like that. If you wanna dive more into that microphone and, and you know hear the quality tests and things like that, I will link a video below. The second recommendation I have for y'all is the Rode VideoMic Go 2. This camera comes in at about $100 on Amazon. So it's not too expensive. It's obviously double what the Deity one or, or like the smallest Rode would be but that quality is going to be noticeably better. Under the windsock, it has a USB input and also a 3.5 jack, which can plug right into your camera. Most mirrorless cameras and DSLRs now have a mic input. Same with the Deity. This one also runs off camera power. So whenever you do plug it into your camera, it will run. You don't need batteries or anything like that. And it also has cable management under the camera on the hot shoe mount. You can put this microphone on you know, a boom pole or you can set it up on one of those arms for a podcast if you would like as well. And obviously it goes on top of your camera in the hot shoe. You can also plug this into other Rode products like the dual channel wireless recording systems if you would like to monitor levels that way as well and record externally. I do believe there's also an app on your computer where you can kind of control levels and, and do certain effects and control frequency levels in certain on the curves and things like that. I haven't dabbled in that whatsoever, but this mic is a great option. It's highly recommended by a lot of industry people. It's $100 on Amazon, so it's really not that much. Like I said, if you're able to afford a 
$4,000, you know, camera and lens setup, then you can probably save up for a $100 microphone. Don't use your internal mics, please. Bottom line is, if you want to spend a little bit more and get a little bit higher quality than, you know, a $50 microphone, buy this Rode Video Mic Go 2. I don't recommend getting the first version though, because I have that right here, and it's very simple. I believe this came out a long time ago. But as you can see, here's the hot shoe mount, and every time I looked in, it would hit me right here. And I also had a lot of problems with this picking up wireless Wi-Fi frequencies. There was a lot of interference and things like that, but I believe those issues have been resolved on most road mics. Don't get the first version, get the second one. And now for what I do believe is probably the best option out of the three here, if you're willing to spend a little bit more money, and that is the Rode VideoMic Pro. The Rode VideoMic Pro is pretty similar to the VideoMic Go, it's just gonna be a little better quality. There's a common trend in microphones and audio recording. If the more you spend, the better quality the audio is gonna be at certain frequencies. I have this microphone right here, pretty self-explanatory, plugs into your mic jack and you can, you've gotta turn it on. It takes nine volt batteries and you also have down here here on the bottom a little switch to control the levels manually if, if you want to drop it 10 de decibels or up at 20 you can do that as you can see the hot shoe is placed in a better spot so you're not going to get that eye issue or it's not going to hit your forehead every time you look through the, the eyepiece if your eyepiece is in that spot but this microphone i use all the time i use it to vlog i use it to put on top of my gimbal when i do runouts i used it at mlb when i use my sony to shoot it's great on sony cameras it's great on canon cameras as well there's all also two modes here you have a directional mode and then you also have a mode that I believe captures like the surroundings it's not so much a shotgun but overall this mic's great I've used it for years now and it's just a good thing to have in your camera bag too even if you use other microphones or you're a photographer you never know this does a really good job in, in loud environments as well just got to watch your levels of course and that's why it's nice to have these settings down here my only gripe with this camera is that it doesn't run on camera power you have to remember to turn it on and there have been times where I've been vlogging quickly and I forget to turn it on but that's my only gripe with this thing it's great other than that I do believe there is a better version or a newer version that does run on camera power you turn the camera on and the mic ultimately turns on too you don't have to worry about forgetting but that is bigger this one's smaller very simple product to use high quality it comes in at $229 so it is significantly more expensive than the video mic go to or the deity but there's a common trend here the more you spend the better the audio quality is generally going to be Thanks for watching this video, y'all. Leave comments or questions below. You can always DM me at Pete Chalk on Instagram. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one.